Just kidding. We're, we're on. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello. Hi. Good morning, Doug. Good morning. Good morning, Pray First. Welcome to Pray First at 7 a.m. on Friday, which means we're a little more subdued. <laughs> Because <laughs> we're a little less awake. At least I'm oh, a little less awake. It was, it was kind of a rough night with a coughing three-year-old. Was it? Yeah. I went to the couch. <laughs> oh Wasn't having goodness. none of that spray all over my face. Mm. We're glad you're here, though, tuning into our discussion that happens Monday through Friday right here where you're at currently from at 7 a.m., 8 p.m., Eastern time zone. 7 a.m. in the central <laughs> time zone. 8 a.m. on the east coast. Uh, 10 a.m. on the west coast. Yeah. And somewhere in the mountains, we don't know what time it is. Hashtag live, hashtag recorded, <laughs> hashtag shared. It's so good to be out there in Kenya where it is I have no idea. nighttime. <laughs> What's up, George? And also in Slovenia where it is something time. We're glad you're here. We are. We're going to continue a conversation about the book of Philippians. And I'm not sure. Well, I am sure. Paul, we're turning towards the topic of heaven. And I think that we don't talk about heaven enough. We don't talk about eternity enough. We talk about believing in it. We talk about being saved from it to it. Uh, We talk about it at funerals. But I think that we spend a lot. I think we need a few less messages on how to survive earth and a few more messages about heaven. And that would help us survive earth. I agree. So I want to read you some passages in Philippians. Those should hashtag live, hashtag recorded, hashtag shared, and share this out on your page. Also tag people in the post if you have the ability to do so. Also hit share right now if you have the ability to do so. Make it public so everybody can see it. Hit the hearts, hit the likes, and hit the thumbs. Let's go crazy for the first time guests right now. Are you ready? Hit them now. One, two, three. All right, Philippians chapter 1, the bouquet. The bouquet. Philippians 3, verse 1, out of the New Living Translation, Paul is, remember, in prison, okay? He says, whatever happens, and he's facing execution. Whatever happens, my dear brothers and sisters, happens, deals with happiness, deals with the external. Paul says, there's something inside of me that they can't kill. There's something inside of me they can't stop. This is a shell. I wish I could remember that joke about the shell do you remember it i remember it well enough but not really i, I think it would be bad let's not tell it then yeah I think so he's saying bad. this is the, just a shell what you're seeing what you're doing i want you to i want you to recognize something this morning that our entire life that we see right now is a shell we're in a cocoon a chrysalis we are in a chrysalis Every person is born into a chrysalis, and what we become later depends on the transformation that happens in this chrysalis. And when we expose who we really are, it's not going to look like this. It's not going to be the same. It's not going to be so confining. Right now, we're asking spirit beings to hold still inside our body. Mm -hmm. We're asking people who were made to fly to crawl on limbs as caterpillars. We're asking people who were made in the image and likeness of God to suffer through this. And what's so awesome about God, one of the so awesomenesses about God is that he became one of us. Can you imagine walk flying out of heaven into a caterpillar (laughs) and crawling into a 33 year chrysalis? waiting to be retransformed. Anyway, Mm. it's pretty incredible. I want you to consider heaven. I want you to consider the reality that is beyond what you're living. Let me finish reading these verses. Philippians chapter 3. Whatever happens, brothers and sisters, rejoice in the Lord. I never get tired of telling you these things. Paul's saying, I never get tired of reminding you. Everybody hashtag reminded. I think we need to constantly be reminded about God's truth because it's very, very easy to get trapped in thinking this is our life. This is existence. This is the way it is. He says, I never get tired of repeating myself. And then he tells us why he does it. I do this to safeguard your faith. Everybody hashtag faith. Brandy, you're somebody who likes to repeat or be repeated or hear things repeated. How, how does that help you? Well, I'm not an auditory learner. <laughs> oh, I, Keep talking. I'm not an auditory learner. 
I, I probably pick up about 20% of whatever it is that is being said um, verbally. So I really like the multi methods of being able to see it, write it, and hear it all at the same time. Um, so it's not just repeating one way, one method, like verbally over and over again. You like to see it visually, hear it, the same thing you just saw, hear it, do it, um, be shown it. You know, what, what are they? Manipulative. You know, you Manipulative. Can, I mean, uh, that's what they call it when you, when you touch it, like kinetic. 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 Kinesthetic. Yeah, the, the item that you use. Yeah, well, we're anyway, using big words. It's okay, way so. too early for big words. <laughs> but the point is, you need to put in front of yourself the word and be reminded in the way that helps you remember. Over and over. It's not enough to read, be transformed one time, and then go to work and, for a week where the world's not transformed and you're still in that chrysalis, in that cocoon. You need to constantly be reminded there is a heaven. There is a God. This is temporary. My joy, my pain, my suffering, this life, everything, everything we see is a temporary shell. Everything. I want you to, I want you to hashtag that. Everything you see is a temporary shell. The three of us, these are temporary shells. The table we're sitting at, the house we're in, if you can see it, it's a temporary shell. And it's not always going to be like this. And we spend a lot of our time, listen to me. We spend a lot of our time trying to preserve, trying to maintain temporary rather than focusing on what is eternal. And the reason we do that is because we believe in heaven and afterlife, but we don't live like there's a heaven and we don't live like there's an afterlife. So this heaven thing has really taken on a whole new life from the book of Philippians that I've never even thought it's of like before. My, it's like my painting. Yeah, it's, it's like your painting over there. One day, let's kind of take you over there real quick. One day, this won't be a painting. This will be reality. Check that out. We'll be talking about it. We'll be looking at a picture or reminded about it. He'll be standing there. And that just... <laughs> That's just incredible. So, but I got going back to what you were saying about repeating. That's you know to repeat, to do again, you know, renew. You're you're not going to change your stinking thinking like I talked about last last Friday, unless you do renew your mind. You have to put whatever you put in you is going to come out. It's what's going to bubble up into your brain, and and your your thoughts become your your actions. You know, and so we have to to replace that that thinking, or maybe we don't even think about it. We have to put it in there um, so that we can think about it and to recognize. Whoa! Stop right there. You have to put it in there so you can think about it. Yep. You have to be reminded. You have to be focused. You have to consume it. Yeah. You don't get fed food for and consume uh, energy. You don't get energy unless you put by looking at food. No, I mean or knowing it's in the fridge. Some of us, some of us do because we're foodies. But um, it's okay, Becca. And um, but you have to consume food in order to He's have calories. Need help. Okay, He's gonna need help. <laughs> we're doing we're doing baby helps this morning. Um, so welcome to the real life of the bells. But she's exactly right what she was just saying, that just because there's food in the fridge, you know, there's food in the leather-bound Bible, you can look at it, you can smell it, you can touch it, but you need to consume it. You need to take it inside of you and allow it to do its work inside of you. That's why, you know, I'm not a very repetitive person. I have to discipline myself to be. They say you have to say something seven times, repeat something seven times before it's heard. Another thing is, I can be sitting and listening to someone repeating something to someone else they just told me, and then I'm like, oh, that's what they meant. Well, they just looked me in the face and told me this, but then I hear them say it to someone else, and I'm like, that's what they meant. And then I hear someone else say it to someone else, like, oh, my goodness, now, now I understand. So I want to give you three thieves 
of this joy that we live in, in this world, living in this world, living in this chrysalis, living in this transformative state that we're in, three, three thieves that steal from us, is unaware of the benefits of the cross. We talked about that yesterday. Addicted to pleasure, addicted to pleasure, and earthly mindedness. I want you to hashtag earthly mindedness. I want you to think about your life and how routine it is. Have you ever thought about the routine of your, li- your life? The routine of your life can narrow your focus. The routine of your life can narrow your focus. And then when you realize, wait a minute, I'm just living in a routine. I'm doing the same things day after day after day. When you realize the mundaneness that you're just kind of existing, then it, it causes you to ask this question. There has to be more to this life, doesn't there? There has to be more, right? Question mark. There has to be more than me doing what everyone else in the world is trying to do. You know, take care of our family, love our spouse, go to church, help one another, serve one another, pay the bills. Seems like the bills keep coming around, don't they? Uh, Get some taxes back from one place, send it to the next place. Try to, you know, make it to the neighborhood you wanted to live in only to find that you'd rather be out of debt. I mean, just the mundaneness, the routine of life can narrow our focus down to where we forget to think about eternity. We forget to think about heaven and we recognize it and we say, there's got to be more. Well, I want to remind you this morning, there is more. I want to remind you this morning that you can win this battle and this battle takes place in your mind. It takes place in your mind. Romans chapter 12, verse two, I want to read it out of the NIV section. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, perfect will is. Do not be conformed to the pattern. Do not be conformed to the routine. But what do we do? That's what the word says, and we need to be reminded of it. But what do we do? We spend our life trying to conform to the pattern, trying to have that car, trying to have that marriage, trying to have that career, trying to go to that church, trying to be part of that group, trying to make that. We spend our lives. I want you to think about the things that we spend our lives on that are temporary. Paul says, do not be conformed to the pattern. Do not get stuck in the routine. How many things Do we spend our time, our day, our effort doing exactly what Paul says? Don't do. Do not be conformed to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your what? Hashtag mind, because the way you think, stinking thinking or not thinking at all. That's NIV version. Let me read the New Living Translation. Do not copy. Listen to this. Do not copy the behavior or the customs of this world but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. I want to ask you a question. How many of y'all have ever dealt with stinking thinking? Hit some thumbs. How many of you have ever, you know, you have a problem thinking about who God says you are because you think about what you've done and what you're doing? How many of you have a problem, you know, shutting your mind down, telling it, shh? How many of you have ever had a problem there has to be more to life than this. I don't, I'm not, you know, I'm not saying you're not happy with your entire life, but have you ever been in a stage of your life where you just were not happy and there has to be more? This can't be all there is. And you're thinking, thinking, thinking. If you're, if you have a tendency to be an overthinker, I want you to hashtag yep, yep. Brandy, you need to say it. Just yep, yep, yep. yep. Say it real loud. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Overthinking, I mean, just constantly thinking about. 500 scenarios that are out of your control. Come on back over here and sit down. Side it down right there. We've got a, we've got a couple minutes. Ow, that's my foot. Oh, sorry. Woo, I'm transforming the way I think. I'm transforming the way I think. I'm transforming the way I think. Oh, you did it again. I did? Sit still. Well, I'm sorry. Look at how he, he causes me to be like half framed. Here, y'all. Here's half. half I'm half air. You're half hair. I'm half hair. Is that a joke? (laughs) Is that some kind of joke? All right, let's get back to these verses. Romans chapter 8, verse 6, because I want to remind... Oh, brother. (laughs) Romans chapter 8, verse 6, and then we're going to (laughs) go. 
<laughs> the mind governed by the flesh is death. The mind is part of you. Mm -hmm. It's actually part of a part of you. Yeah. Your, your body, soul, spirit. Your soul is your mind, mind will, and emotions. emotions. The mind governed by the flesh, by what you can see. You the do. mind governed by the temporary mm -hmm. is death. Paul says in Romans 8, 6. But the mind governed by the spirit is life and peace. It doesn't mean that your mind won't go there, right. but you will govern it. There is a, there is a discipline. What'd you got? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, if you're wondering what she's doing now, um, she's going and pouring his pee pee. Um, <laughs> you probably heard him say that. And I'm, I'm trying to talk to you about renewing your mind and stuff, but, uh, See, this is the world we live in. And I love this world. I love this life. I love being a daddy. I love the house we live in. I love our cars. I love, you know, our stuff. I love my drone. I love my Mac computers. And I love all of this, and this is part of it. But if you don't have this plus, and what I mean by this plus, this plus, this temporary life that I'm enjoying and that I love, but I also have a bigger perspective, I want you to govern your mind. I want you to, you know, your mind's going to go places that it shouldn't go. I want you to, no, 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 I'm not going there. Uh, there's heaven. I'm heaven bound. I'm God bound. I, I have a savior. I have a friend. I have God. I, 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 have a, I have a Lord. I have a master. I have someone who directs me in, in the right directions. So I'm going to read Romans 8, 6 one more time just to make sure you get it. The mind governed by the temporary. The mind that is governed by the flesh is death. But the mind governed by the spirit is life and peace. How many of y'all can use some life and peace? I want to read these verses, then I'm going to pray for you. Philippians chapter 3, verses 18 through 21. For as I have often told you, again, there he is with that repeating process. I have often told you this. I'm going to tell you again. I have often told you this. I'm going to tell you again with tears, Paul says. Many live as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their destiny is destruction. Their God is their stomach, their appetite. And their glory is their shame. Their mind is set on temporary things, on earthly things. Listen to what he says in verse 20. But our citizenship is in heaven, and we eagerly await a Savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ, who by the power that enables him to bring everything under his control, listen to this, will transform our lowly temporaries. He will transform our lowly bodies so that we will be like him. I hope that gave you chills like it gave me. Brandy, closing words and prayer, my friend. We've had a very eventful morning. I know. I'm, I feel like I've been in and out of the conversation, so I don't know, really know. Welcome to our <laughs> um, life. Just continue just to renew. You know, it's garbage in, garbage out, and goodness in, goodness out, you know, and you have to, to renew something, you know, you have to do it over and over and over again. And um, you, know, you have to renew your membership. You have to do it over again. You have to renew your mind. You have to do it over, over again. And when those natural sinful tendencies of the way we think come up, we just have to, we have to take hold of it and control it and recognize, recognize what it is, that it is a lie. But you have to know what the truth is first before you can recognize that it's a lie. Because if you don't know what the truth is, then you will have trouble recognizing and differentiating from the truth from a lie. Your circumstances could dictate that you are a loser. Well, yeah. But the truth is you're the victorious. Truth. You're exactly. an overcomer. You're a winner. Exactly. Exactly. And so you have to just constantly renew your mind with the word and the word is the truth and the truth will set you free. It's just crazy how you just have to, Get in the word, guys. I mean, seriously, it's there for you. It will expose the temporary. It, it will. It will expose. And when you think <laughs> and long for to be that girl in that picture, when you can actually put your arms around the one that has loved you like no one else can love you, then you will long to, to, to see him face to face, to be with him. And you want to, ha you know, embrace that freedom that we have to do the right thing just like you have the freedom to do the wrong thing, <laughs> the thing that you don't want to do. Absolutely. All right. Lord, I just pray for everybody here, Lord. Father, we thank you for your truth, the truth that does set us free.
And Father, let us embrace it. Um, let it fall on good, fertile soil. And Lord, just let us have a great weekend. Lord, um, thank you for being the Lord of our lives. We love you, and we just um, ask for the opportunities this weekend to love on other people. In Jesus' name, amen. And all God's people said, amen. Amen. I hope you can... I hope you can extrapolate Amen. extrapolate some truths Amen. in the midst of all this chaos. <laughs> okay? I hope that you can extrapolate something that helps you get through today. Recognize this temporary stuff. You were born to fly. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bit the fire out of you. <laughs> Renew the way you think, Brady.